ladies and gentlemen, the class of fall 2014. I'd like the audience to please stand for our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. The national anthem will be led by our graduate, Regina Ryan. Thank you, Regina. At this time, we'd like to ask Professor D. Weber to give the invocation. This is a QCC nursing graduate's prayer. Lord, please bless and inspire these new graduate nurses at this candlelighting ceremony today, and let this day continue to inspire them throughout their lengthy careers caring for people in need. Many challenges await them, keeping them strong, but flexible, focused on the well-being of their patients, please. Remind them of the importance of taking care of themselves also. Please be present, dear Lord, guiding them to be leaders, role models, educators, activists, instruments of change for a better healthcare system. Nurses do not discriminate. They take care of everyone, no matter what ethnicity, social economic status, or abusive behavior they have to put up with. Keep them safe, healthy, happy, fulfilled. And may they always be proud to be a QCC nursing student. Dear Lord, I know that you share the same impression as recent studies have supported, that nurses are the most honest people on earth. Please bless these nurses and their families always. Amen. Thank you, Professor Weber. Audience, you may be seated. Graduates, please be seated. At this time, I'd like to call President Diane Call to the mic. Welcome, families, friends, faculty, and especially graduates. I look at this class of 2015, and each of you as individuals, with great pride and admiration, feelings shared by your faculty who've been with you the whole journey. 
Congratulations on your accomplishments. You chose one of the most difficult programs at Queensborough. In any year, thousands of students hope to be in the nursing program. Our standards are very high here. And recently, we only admit 70 students or so to the clinical sequence. You earned your spot in the clinical sequence. And you spent the next at least four semesters taking a journey through all kinds of discoveries and heartache and worry. And here you are, graduates in January 2015. 39 students are before you. That's of many, many, many more who would hope to be here. We tested you. You tested yourselves. You sacrificed in small and significant ways, as have your family and your friends who supported you and encouraged you and now celebrate with you as you graduate. You're as much survivors as you are graduates. And I know that you share this triumph with your family and your friends and your faculty. And many of you had to wonder if all the sacrifice was worth it. It was, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, these 39 graduates come from all over the world, from the United States, Asia, Africa, the Caribbean, South America, Central America. And I love this because it's consistent year to year. Almost 20% of these graduates happen to be men, twice the national average, and it's a point of pride for Queensborough and for the excellence of our students. Over one third of these graduates already hold a degree. All of you indicated you plan to go on. And I expect to see some of you in those rows as faculty not too long in the future. Queensborough was the first college in the university to establish a dual joint program with a senior college, and it was with Hunter. We already have graduates coming out of that program. Queensborough now has two other joint programs with our sister schools, York College and the CUNY School for Professional Studies. When someone decides to enter the nursing profession, it means they choose to help people who are in need. Professional nursing responsibilities have certainly changed very significantly over time. Nurses today are highly respected and valued members of the healthcare team who bring their own body of knowledge to the process of healthcare and who collaborate with physicians and members of other healthcare disciplines to meet patient needs. The need for registered nurses is projected to grow almost 20% over the next 10 years faster than any other occupation. And that's because of several reasons. We study students have studied these reasons. The growing emphasis on preventive care, growing rates of chronic conditions such as obesity and diabetes, and the demand for healthcare services from the baby boomer, boomer foundation population as they live longer and more active lives. But even as healthcare dominates our economy, it's truly in turbulence. This class of 2015 will have much more change to deal with in the years to come. The profession of nursing holds compassion, caring, and healing as three of its central ideals. Nurses are the human component in the healthcare delivery system. And in earning your degree, you have been uniquely prepared to reach out to those in need filling the void of human caring created by clinical environments. And it's a very grave responsibility. You are a member of the most trusted profession in the world. And it is your calling to be there for people in pain and suffering, for those in fear, and those that are moving on to worlds beyond us. Take a moment to reflect on your role as a nurse and the importance you play in your community. Relive those special moments when you realized how you made a difference and the satisfaction that you felt knowing you were able to help. It is an honor and a privilege to serve as you will and to possess the skills that are so uniquely that of the nursing profession. 
Graduates, remember what you've already discovered. You know this about yourselves. You have talent. You have extraordinary self-discipline. You can survive any obstacle, and you have. You make a difference in lives, and you've witnessed that and experienced that firsthand. And please remember that friendship and laughter really are sustaining, whether it's the worst of times or in times of triumph such as this. As you go forward, I hope you will continue to be curious, that you'll continue to learn and remember to take time for yourself. We say that because you cannot care for others unless you've done that for yourself. And please do always remember that Queensboro is a home for you, and we're always part of your family, and we're very, very proud to call you graduates. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Call. At this time, I'd like to call Professor Anne Marie Menendez to give the chairperson's address. Congratulations, graduates. Today's ceremony in the tradition of Florence Nightingale affords you the opportunity to reflect on the mission and values of the nursing profession. It is also a day to look back on your accomplishments and to begin to imagine your future in the profession of nursing. Your foundation here at Queensborough has been a rigorous passage. You have been taught by faculty who are experts in clinical practice and creative thinkers in the field of pedagogy. They have put you to the test time and time again. You will continue on to your bachelor's degree and many of you for your master's and doctoral degrees in nursing. You will work in schools, homes, and community agencies as healthcare moves outside the traditional setting. Although nurses will always provide hands-on care, more and more your practice will focus on educating patients and promoting health literacy. Through motivational interviewing, clients will be active participants in restoring and preserving their health. Nurses increasingly will look at determinants of health outcomes, such as public health interventions and aspects of the social environment, including income, education, employment, social supports, and culture. The physical environment, such as clean air and water, will play a part in maintaining a population's health, as well as genetics and individual behavior. Healthcare will move from focusing on me to we. The challenges for nurses will be great as we move to working more and more in partnerships with our clients and view them not only as indiv individuals, but as members of a global community. I am excited when I imagine the opportunities and challenges that await you in the nursing profession. You have had a great foundation here at Queensboro, and you are well prepared to meet the next challenge. In words of our beloved Dr. Seuss, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, graduates. Mm -hmm. The graduates have chosen Professor Lorraine Capelli to give the congratulatory address. Professor Capelli. Good afternoon, President Call, Vice President Steele, Vice President Hodge, Chairperson Menendez, faculty, family, friends, and graduates of 2015. I am so deeply honored and privileged to say a couple of words to the graduating class of 2015. First and foremost, I want to wish you all of my heartfelt congratulations on your success of graduating Queensboro Nursing Program and also want to extend the same congratulations to your families, friends, and mentors that have provided you love, support, and guidance. Nursing school is not easy. It's like stepping into a new culture where the language is different, the behavior is based on a code of ethics and professional standards, and everything you do as a nurse is supported by theoretical explanations and rationales. I'm sure you've heard the echo of several of your professors' voices stating, 
What did you assess? What do you think's going on with the patient? And now, what are you going to do about it? And how do you support your decisions? The concept of critical thinking has been brought to a whole new dimension. You even learn to think differently by the scientific model called the nursing process. However, I think the biggest challenge is the crossroads of every patient you take care of, their circumstances, and how their voices impact on you as a nurse. You find that your patients' experiences, their reactions, and their life stories might trigger some of your own fears, some weaknesses or strengths, where self-reflection is part of the daily grind, but contributes wholeheartedly to your individual growth as a professional registered nurse. And today, you begin that journey in becoming a registered nurse and the responsibility that goes along with it. Nursing has an intimate connection with humanity, and it is the key to a healthier nation. You've reached this first step of success by helping yourself and each other through perseverance, persistence, and having a shared passion for the healing of the mind, the body, and the spirit. Nurses are everyday heroes. They're heroes through a strong embrace when someone's spirit has weakened, or when their caring has been so instrumental to a patient's recovery, or when they found time to sit and listen to their patients and empower them to cope with life struggles. I remember taking care of several patients most recently, one with a history of drug addiction and another who had been homeless for several years. We need to remember our most vulnerable populations and give them strength when they have none of their own. It wasn't about the status or the past mistakes of the person. It was more about creating a healing presence and connecting with them in powerful ways. I'm constantly impressed by what nurses do. Every day, nurses innovate to keep people alive, to reduce pain and suffering, to teach older adults and their caregivers on how to manage illness, such as congestive heart failure, and ease the transition from life to death. Nurses have a unique opportunity to have an inside glimpse of who their patients are. They have the ability to touch lives and engage the human spirit. Nurses are present when you enter the world. They are present through many profound times in someone's life. And they're also present when they leave the world. Nurses take part in the joy of these life events, but also share in the grief, the pain, and the suffering. I have cared and advocated for so many patients but what I've received in return has been so much greater. Remain, um, your patients will be your greatest teachers. Remain open and receptive and welcome diversity. Learn how to find your voice and express it on behalf of your patients. Each patient will touch you and leave a little bit of themselves. Each one of you will become an everyday hero by always remaining true to the nursing profession's core values, and by keeping compassion, caring, and empathy in the forefront of everything you do as a nurse. As the late Maya Angelou said, people may forget your name, but will never forget how you made them feel. My most sincere congratulations to the graduating class of 2015. Thank you, Professor Capelli. At this time, this, the audience will be dimmed. Remember, um, it may be frightening for some children as the lights turned on. This is the part where we do our candle lighting. The candle lighting will be assisted by Ms. Audrey Maroney and Ms. Barbara Caravanos. Abina Harmon Bosch. Jong Hoon Kim. Imtiaz Hassan. Idania Springer. Karen McClot.
Arlana Egan. Shanique Welch. Esse Aweka. Utkarsh Shaw. Lily Ababio. Benjamin Yoder. Kenneth Powers. Heather Sullivan. Andrea Madden. Maureen Appel. Jayung Kim. Jennifer Khan. Joyce Kim. Bibi Arifa Kadim. Evelyn Garcia Ruiz. Alexandra Greiko. Ningsi Zhao. Claudiane Cadet Francois. Regina Ryan. Delhi Chatnarin. Saba Rana. Grace Song. Edgen Marie Cruz. Jenny Espinosa. Jacqueline Buds. Catherine Zimmerman. Grace Hom. Grace Couch. Bin Gao. Deepa Prasad. Paula Salazar. Ophelia Beckford. Chris Prasad. Ramon Bradley. Once again, I give you your graduating class. Thank you. The nurses' pledge will now be led by Chris Prasad, Paula Salazar, and Ophelia Beckford. become an open, honest, kind, and diversified individual. In doing so, 
I will attain the qualities essential in the practice of nursing. For it is only after realizing one's self-worth we are able to promote that of others. Deliverance of high-quality health care is of essential importance. But let us also reach beyond a treatment or diagnosis. And remember that entrusted to my care is a human being with, with all the loves, hates, fears, and idiosyncrasies that are an integral part of the human species. Let me now grow too comfortable in my knowledge, but actively seek out new information or continuance of my education. Being a nurse requires continuous growth. I dedicate myself to this cause and my life to the profession of nursing. Thank you. I'd just like to acknowledge all the other nurses that are in here. We've all heard that pledge many times, and it's still poignant every time. Graduates, extinguish your candles. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. At this time, I'd like to in invite Ramon Bradley, the outgoing president of the Student Nurses Association, to give the farewell address. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome College Pre President Diane B. Call, Chief of Academic Affairs, Dr. Paul Marcisi, Vice President for Strategic Planning, Assessment, and Institutional Effectiveness, Dr. Karen Steele. Vice President of Student Affairs, Michelle Hodge. Chairperson of the Nursing Department, Professor M. Marie Menendez. Esteemed faculty, family, and friends of the graduating class of 2015. In addition, I would like to take a brief moment to wish everyone a happy and prosperous new year. May new beginnings bring forth health, happiness, and positivity as we start our journey in 2015. It is truly an honor to stand here beside these men and women who fought rigorously for the past two years to achieve this very moment of victory. They say that perfection is a point of view, but from where I'm standing, I say the Queensboro nursing graduates are a perfect result of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Through the years, we have argued, laughed, cried, and grown from our shared experiences, forming a bond of a lifetime and I am proud to call each and every one of you my family. In our moment of success, I'm filled with sadness, for I know the adventure of Queensborough's Elite 39 has come to a beautiful conclusion. It is now time for us to become the nurses we were meant to be. Each one of us has a different path, path that we must embark on with the same ultimate goal, which is to deliver safe and effective care to the patients we serve. May the lessons and standards that Queensborough has set guide us to endless potential from within and serve as wings to fly us to the pinnacle of our career path. My only request for the graduates is to never forget the interactions we had with our patients who granted us the opportunity to learn and enhance our nursing skills through their health deficits. I've always believed that there is a thin line between being a patient in a hospital and a healthcare provider. At certain points in our life, we interchangeably switch between the roles due to many internal and external factors. Treat your patients as you would like yourself and your family to be treated, for we are all vulnerable to circumstance. It was very difficult for me to pinpoint the exact words to explain how critical the nursing instructors were in our experience at Queensborough. As representatives of this academic institution, your ongoing goal is to create the heroes and leaders of tomorrow. When the students woke up early in the morning for clinical, you were already at the hospital planning out the entire day. When the students would have issues or concerns, you were there to therapeutically guide us towards the right path. Each and every instructor has mastered and exemplified the art of nursing to perfection and has shined their light of knowledge upon the graduates. 
I admire your work and commitment and aspire to practice utilizing the many skills you have taught us. One thing I've learned from Professor Weber is to always do the right thing by your patients and never hesitate going the extra mile to advocate for what's right. That and always bring an extra pair of sterile gloves to your patient's room just in case the first pair of tears during the procedure. <laughs> to the families and loved ones of the graduates who have struggled and endured right beside us every step of the way I say, we all finally made it. It took us years, an endless amount of studying to learn what you have given to us naturally, which is to nurse. When we were weak, you gave us strength. When we were tired, you carried us. When we lost our way, you held our hand and guided us back to the path of success. In this very moment, we share the accomplishment of overcoming the many obstacles of Queensborough's nursing program, and we all are victorious. To my beautiful mother, Ramonita, although we've never had the money to burn, you gave me the priceless gift of motivation, diligence, and perpetual energy to take the world by its horns. The strength you've given me allowed me to work through school, keep a roof over my head, pay tuition, mentor high school students, and participate in the Student Nurses Association for two semesters with a smile on my face. Mom, you've always said, everyone has their own cross to carry. But the reality is you carry everyone's cross along with their own. You are the strongest person that I know. I dreamed and fought tooth and nail for this opportunity to explain just how much you mean to me. I love you and you mean the world to me. And it is my life's honor to, for you to know that I've, that I've made you proud to know that I've made you proud. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2015. May the fire from your lamps keep your vision clear and brighten up the world around you. Thank you, Ramon. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of the other people that have assisted us our stage manager, our engineer behind the scenes make this wonderful, as well as David Taubman on the piano. Thank you very much. We will now have the presentation of pins, and the students have selected the following faculty. Professor Lawrence Bentley, Professor Margaret Strohline, Professor Tina Baer, and Professor Janice Malloy. Graduates, please stand. And you can applaud. You can applaud loudly.
thank you very much. I would like to thank our current student, Brian Gallagher. Wave, Brian, for helping. Thank you so much. We have now come to the end of our program. Thank you so much for attending. The graduating class would like to invite you to, to some small refreshments in the Medical Arts Building. Thank you very much. <laughs>